So True Autonomy is a business that creates autonomous navigation systems for use in small construction machines. When I say small, it means something smaller than a vehicle or a, a truck. The whole objective of True Autonomy is to help companies do more faster. This is True Autonomy's autonomous navigational system that can be attached to construction machines uh, and provide autonomous navigational assistance. So right now in the uh, concrete polishing space, no one else does any sort of uh, autonomous navigation. It is a new, uh, new market. Uh, but there are a lot of other folks who do autonomous navigation for, say, cleaning and auto scrubbers or, or other devices. Um, so the way in which my system differs from theirs is that it, it provides what's called localization. Uh, the machine knows where in the room it is at all times uh, versus having an advanced algorithm to know how to kind of uh, react to obstacles like, say, a Roomba would. So it takes two inputs, one from the laser, taking many points in a 360 degree uh, array around it on a flat plane, and it takes inputs from the wheels, how many times they've turned and how fast they're going. And it takes both those inputs and then calculates uh, its environment. It understands where the walls are and where it is relative to those walls. Yeah, so this is a commercial off-the-shelf product. You can order it from Amazon for 50 bucks. The idea is that it's very easily replaceable if these get broken. Um, most controllers that exist in the space tend to be very robust, but $1,000 uh, pieces of equipment. But in general, right now, this is just used for uh, control and it operates uh, the same as uh, any racing game you probably played. There are other systems that we're looking at as well, like auto scrubbers and what use, unique uh, issues they face when they're used on the job and in a maintenance capacity rather than in a uh, construction uh, development initialization capacity. Um, so we're doing those sorts of activities and we're also making sure that we can actually get everything fully web enabled and, and uh, available uh, at, online at all times rather than just on the network at, at the local site. Another feature that may be added here is to use uh, your own laptop and uh, download some software to communicate and see exactly what the machine is seeing. And it will show you the array of thousands of points that the laser is picking up uh, each rotation. It ro rotates uh, several times per second. Uh, additionally, it gives you more information like how much time the machine has spent working. Uh, it lets you know when it started, when it ended, the area square footage covered. Um, and we have additional reports that are generated after the job is done that saves all this information for the entire job. This is very useful for foremen or uh, general contracting uh, owners to uh, diagnose what issues may occur, what's going on in the job site. So in this year, we're going to uh, hopefully roll out our second version. And this will include updating all of the inputs and outputs to a ruggedized tablet with a web-based interface that can be accessed not only on the device itself, but through your phone or other networked device. So that's one key thing. We're going to add some better obstacle avoidance. We're going to be able to uh, route around and come back to the same path that we were on. Uh, we're going to be able to have sensors to understand if there's a, a dynamic change in the environment. Right now, it's a static uh, obstacle detection at the beginning of the process where we take a kind of a snapshot and any obstacles that are there, it will avoid. But if there's something that comes in the middle, uh, that's a problem. That's why we have bumpers to stop it. Um, but in the future, we won't need the bumpers. Everything will be dynamic and video based slash sonar slash laser. Click to subscribe and see more at BuiltWorlds.com.